So, do you want 10% off this and the rest of your order? To do that, you're going to have to. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic, and as you well know from the thumbnail, in this video, going to be looking at fans' toys. Fans' toys! <laughs> Outrider. Now, we will get to, there is going to be a 10% off, but I'll explain all of that at the end of the video. How wonderfully cheesy. Um, but Uncle Greg has sent me this to look at. So, this is available at Primetime Toys right now. So uh, again, there'll be stuff and things floating. But let's look at the box. It is not your standard fans toys box. It just says Outrider, 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 Outrider. And then there's a bio on the back. Now what's particularly interesting about this bio is it's for Tesla. Uh, I just, I get the feeling they just didn't put much effort in with this box today, which is a shame because every now and then I like a good fans toys box and this is not a good fans toys box. But anyway, it's not really about the box and let's face it, once he's out of the box, he will be um, probably not going back in. And anyway, we have instructions. And a card. Now, hold on, I just want to check the card. Has this card got any sort of teeny tiny bio? They have... Got, oh, I haven't got my glasses on, I can't tell. Right, so there's a bio on there. I will put some pictures up. Right now, because I've not got my glasses on and it's teeny tiny font, I can't tell you if that's the correct bio or not, which is slightly embarrassing, but the pictures and no doubt the funny comment will explain it all. But there's a bio there. And if it's the right one, I'll figure that out during editing, where I will be wearing my glasses. Yeah. Uh, and a fairly detailed instruction booklet. It's quite a nice book, but it's it's not... I don't know, it's not fans' toys, is it? Fans' toys! <laughs> so, but... It is a fan's toys figure, and that's all we really care about. Yeah, that's a point. Because normally there's an FT on this. And I see no FT. So, so far, underwhelmed. But I like Trailbreaker because he's a big, slow thing. So I sort of relate to him. Which says more about me than it does the figure. Right, the chances of me getting this the right way. better if I take off some more tape. I had a 50-50 shot. Right. Here he is. Ooh, that's nice. So in his extraordinarily annoying noise with the little sheath. I do like this. Well, we'll come back to the figures after the accessory anyway. Oh, nice. Uh, so obviously packed in robot mode, we have some spare faces. face we have his gun which is quite nice we have a hand now I know having the cannon hand on is cartoon accurate but I always I always like to have an additional hand I don't know why it's probably my ignorance or I don't know 
but nice. That was quite a nice hand as well. Like I've got the um, XTB one, and here I had little baby hands. I believe they improved it for the second release, but I don't have that version. I've got the baby hands one. That's quite a nice hand. We've got the uh, radio antenna. And that's it for accessories. Now, if I remember correctly, the XTB one was all accessories all the time. But who cares? God, it's so warm. It's been out in the sunshine. And... Um, I'm just straightening him up a little bit and then we'll have a proper look. So here he is. Now, I can't lie, I'm having some mild problems getting his head to sit properly, which is a bit annoying. But other than that, he's really nice. Oh, yeah. Nice elbow. Ooh, more than, a bit more than 90 at the elbow. So he's got decent hands, chrome. This is definitely more in keeping with the um, sort of MP10 era of Masterpiece, which was my preferred era, because A, it was better priced, and I just, I, I still prefer, I mean, a minute, I should have straightened him out a little bit, but I still prefer this one to MP44, because look, look what I can do. <gasps> It didn't fall off or explode. All right, that was a cheap shot, but I stand by it. <laughs> so yeah, he looks pretty damn good with him. Yes, it's about the right height. We'll have to, I'm at the dining room table and I've, I couldn't find the, my usual um, tripod. So you'll have to excuse the, uh, the awkwardness and hopefully frequency of pictures popping up. Ah! Is there a trick to get in the head? I don't want to force it. I don't like forcing things because then you get the inevitable crunch. Oh, it cries. figure i think it's I, I, i'm enamored and i like how compact they've got the waist that is really nice like properly and i like that the hip skirts at the front move forward and so you don't have to lift them up oh dear. Uh, has he got one at the back oh so he doesn't he can't go back much but it's true to its character, really. He's not a very mobile dude. Uh, that's... I love this robot. Oh, the, the, the neck is a mild issue. I'm going to have to look at that in a minute. I said, I'm going to record this bit, then I'm going to take some pictures and look up the neck. So the pictures... If the pictures show the neck properly, then I sorted it. <laughs> Who didn't plan this video? That would be me. I just like how compact and it's that's great, really good. I love the detail, the red. The color here. Um, yeah, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, waist swivel. Ooh, cracking Van Damme. Oh, and then he forgot Paddy's favorite. Can he offer? Oh. Mm. It's not a full cuddle. He can offer a hug. But not a full cuddle. That's, oh, that is, oh, excellent. Look at that. His doors are on the back. And they tab it. That's brilliant. I love this. It was my birthday the other week, and this is actually my birthday present. I like it a lot. So that's about it for robot mode. Um, 
I think it's great. It's a really nice robot mode. Um, yeah. Like I said, there should have been some pictures floating around. They may have even been outside. Very sunny. Who knows? So I'm going to get him transformed up and we'll be back. And here we are. Fans toys, that's quite an enjoyable transformation. It wasn't too fiddly. That said, on this side, I couldn't quite get that bit lined up. But I need to take all this top off and fiddle. And it's about 100 degrees and I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but it's really good. And you can open the doors. Always a nice touch. Um, yeah. It is a decent sturdy vehicle mode. I, I actually want one of these cars. I think they're really cool. Um, here is the XTB one. I never realised how prevalent is the head is in there. Oh, I'd forgotten about it. You see that? Very similar. <laughs> this one now looks more like a hearse than it did before. Is that just me? Kind of hearsey. Still decent, decent figure. So I do like this one a lot, but I think I think we have to say this one's better now. It's just outdone it. Decent, been outclassed. Um. Yeah. What can you say about the vehicle? How it's it's a four by four. It do, you can have this on. But during transformation, I flip the roof, so I can't have that on, but it does do there. And it can store the gun there um, before you tab the legs together. You can put that in and it will stay in there. <laughs> it looks really funny. <clears throat> so yes, this is in stock at Primetime Toys. I mentioned at the start of the video, you can get 10% off. So if you use the code FOP10, you will get 10% off your basket. So the more you put in, the more you'll get off with your 10%. So if you put like this and, I don't know, Perceptor in, you'll get 10% off both figures. It's a bit of a bargain. You can also use the Welcome 10 code as well. So it's well worth doing that whilst the offer stands. You can only use the code, important bit, once per customer. So FOP10, you can use it once. So save it up, put a whole bunch of things in your basket and you're golden. This is the, the Tesla and Janssen are there. There's a whole load of things. But don't touch the New Age Soundwave. I want to get that after TFM. <laughs> but yeah, for fans toys, fans toys. <laughs> Outrider is great. Really good, solid figure. It's nice to see them back again. That's it. Thank you very much. Fingers on plastic.